Hey, it is Friday! Woohoo! What a week it has been. Feels like a lifetime sometimes. I don't, I'm guessing some of you know what that feels like. So much happens in such a short time span. So, I want to use my time with you appropriately. First thing I want to do is invite you all to DevFest. I know I've been talking about it, but now I actually want you to really seriously consider it. Plus, I want to give you a ticket. So, in the write-up, in the announcement, you're going to see a code. And then in that code, in that, I'm going to give you a code that you can, and I'll show you in a minute where to go put that code so that you can get a free ticket to DevFest. Now, why would you want to go to DevFest? Because there's going to be a lot of good people there. We're going to give you food. Uh, it's an all-day event. You're going to learn about stuff that you might. Or might not know about it'll it'll be centered around Google technology um, and learning that stuff is good now some of you might have thought and actually had somebody come see me today and talk to me about it and was thinking well I'm not ready for something like DevFest and that's just not true and here's the thing I in many times in my career I would actually be doing something that I felt was just totally over my head and I wasn't getting it but I've noticed almost every time later down the road as I started studying more and more of this stuff dots would get connected I would suddenly go that makes sense so it's and it's important to allow ourselves the uncomfortable uh, uncomfortable ability the uncomfortableness of not knowing things and being willing to still absorb as much as we can I'm not saying all sessions will be like that. There are four tracks. Uh, you can come and go to each track, but um, I really want you to, and again, I'm going to give you a ticket. I want you to come, so please consider signing up. Now, if you know somebody else that would also be interested, have them contact me directly. Don't give them the code. I mean, obviously, I can't stop you from doing that. I'm just asking you as, you know, you to me, that you don't do that, because I, I really want to make sure that this these are people that are interested in this field and not just showing up because they have nothing better to do. Not that you would invite people like that. Okay, enough said. So, interesting week last week with the whole FTP thing. Most of you seem to get through it. There was a couple of challenges because of mistakes I made with cutting and pasting. And again, somebody told me today on the host name where I had the IP, I put a period into it. Crazy, I can't believe somebody didn't point that out to me sooner. So at the at the host name on the FTP where that period was at, that did not need to be there. It was just an accidental cut and paste on my part. So if you're having challenges, that might be why. All right, so let's turn to this week. So as I before I turn to this week, let me just tell you what we're going to do. We're going to I've actually taken your considerate your uh, suggestions, and what I heard kind of overwhelmingly was that you wanted to create a web page or a website, and let's do it. So what I'm going to do is in lecture this week, you're going to have three videos that walk you through how to take this bootstrap idea that you've already been introduced to and create an actual navigation and some content and a grid layout. So what we're going to do is you're going to learn to do this in lecture. I'm actually not going to make you take notes. I'm going to have you code the thing up as they do each step, and then I'll have you upload into your sites. And then in hands-on, we're actually going to use it for both assignments because this is a good uh, framework, or in this case, an index page to replace that existing index page that's on your server space now. And then for a project, we'll use that to post your project output into. Should be relatively fun. So you're going to have a little, do two things in one, uh, lecture and hands-on, and then we'll, in our uh, current topics this week, actually look at um, your web page that you're going to select for your last part of the um, project one, which I'm going to talk about first. So let's turn to it and get started. All right, project one. I've now written another level down in project one and so here's the um, the updated one so you will take uh, from week eight lecture and you'll create a new file okay project one html and then in here you'll give links okay so this actually project one will become a link in your menu out of that week eight lecture that you've created and then in each one teach one i've been thinking about this 
is that I'm going to give you two paths here because not everyone will have the capacity to do a video but if you do I that is an option I want to give you because it is a good thing to know how to do and it's a fairly straightforward thing to know how to do there's a couple of ways you could do it if you you know if you have matter of fact worth you know what? actually no I'm not going to do it here I'm actually going to create a video for this but I just want you to know okay um, so you can either do photos of you teaching the person whoever it is and I do want you to tell me you know who it was and what what location you decided to do it in and then I want you to have something like the, a presentation a couple of uh, Google Docs um, presentations or PowerPoint whatever you want to use for how you organize the training okay so that would be one thing is providing us pictures and how you did it and then the second option is to actually record you doing it right teaching the concepts it doesn't have to be the whole thing just part of it so remember this is week three hands-on that we're talking about okay so for the second part uh, I've been giving this some thought and I um, played around today because I found a way in Google Maps to easily do this and it's really actually fun but I don't recommend I don't I recommend using Google Maps but you can use something else if you want to but let me just show you how easy this is so in Google Maps um, I'm gonna zoom out I'm gonna do my maps and then I'm gonna create okay and I'm gonna give you a video actually in actually that's gonna be part of the um, hands-on this week that's right I forgot I'm actually gonna give you a hands-on assignment for this so but it's really pretty fun as you can create layers which is awesome so if I create a new layer I could say you know um, and and this takes it doesn't matter I'm just gonna put layer one for now okay and then I'm gonna zoom into a location right and over here I can have these add markers so if I add a marker here as a marker and then if I zoom out I can add another mark and I give it a name so this in this case this would be your IP something like that so then I'm gonna add another marker here I'm gonna come over here add another marker here right and that again could be your IP and you could save information and then you can just do something very simple like draw a line right so you can draw a line between them um, and then you can just you don't have to name the line but that that's really how simple this could be right to do these trace route geolocations and then what you can do is save this and share it right so again that's all you have to do is share it but we're going to do this in hands-on as well this week to give you a little preview of what's coming so it's awesome all right so again you'll do three trace routes you'll provide me you'll create a web page again for this work um, on each page you'll put print screens the text of the trace route again recommend using Google Maps so then on the last part of the midterm you will do a web page analysis you'll create a select a web page this is what you'll do in current topics this week you'll create another web page for this and link it from your project one page determine the number of graphics and the type of graphic files okay determine the number of CSS files I'll have a video for this use dev tools to determine the tags and the CSS selectors that are used to create the page now this uh, I have to I've given this some thought how we would do this because each page has a different level of layer complexity that's what we'll talk about and then you'll upload this into your web um, under your hosting space and then all you'll have to do is provide me your index file so that is the midterm that's what it will be I have decided to change the points a little bit to more evenly distribute them because I think adding uh, the three trace routes gives this more weight and the fact that I'm ask, ask, asking for a little bit more in this one seems like a good distribution okay so now that's the preview of the project now let's actually go look at go look at lectures okay so under lectures down on the bottom here here is lecture eight so I found what I think is a pretty good series I'm gonna go ahead and click into it so you can see this and uh, there's a bootstrap three so when you were doing the uh, Harvard lecture those were an older version of bootstrap there's been an update it's even easier than it used to be so that's cool so then what you will do is actually you don't have to take notes I actually want you to follow along and create this site that he's gonna have you create uh, in here right so he's actually gonna have you end up creating this site and it looks pretty cool um, we will do 
and I've, there's there's a part I'm going to jump over. I'm not going to do the bottom sticky part, but you're going to do the menu part, the navigation part at the top, the jumbo, and then each of these, which I might end up making each of these then a link into um, your project output. Anyway, I haven't totally figured that one out yet, but this this is what you will do. So you will actually walk through these three videos. So make sure you don't just go here and do there's one two and three is the sticky one I'm not gonna have you do that I actually have you do one two three four sorry I need to add one link I realized and five okay so one two four and five jumping over three I'll put I forgot to add that third one so once you get to here you will have um, here's what you will have if you look at the site and you can put the content that he that is shown here so you will have everything except the sticky thing here on the bottom which is totally okay this is more than enough for us to work with and it's not that hard should not actually take you a huge amount of time but it will take longer uh, because you're actually going to code this up okay so then once you code this up I want you to replace right so upload this into your server space replacing your index .html file that's out there now okay so uh, if you were looking at those uh, sites the default the index page is the f page that is you know the Plask uh, information all that you're going to replace that with the output of this and in doing so you will also have to make sure you upload the right CSS files and do this but again I don't I don't really think this is that bad if you're running into issues I'll do another video actually showing you in more detail but again all you have to do is replace the index.html file that's on the server and upload the other files like the bootstrap file CSS file that you need to create what they've done again I have missed one here in the one two five four, one two one two four and five okay all right, so that's for lecture. So now what I've decided is go ahead and make that also part of the hands-on this week. So part of the hands-on uh, uh, is actually the same idea. So because uh, your lecture is not due until 10.6. I've decided to also allow your uh, hands-on to not be due until 10.6, but you know, get it done sooner. That way if you run into issues, I can give you help. Okay, so that's your part one is once you upload it, you'll give me a link within the lecture, but then you also get to do that same link here, but the difference is I want you to write about your experience of doing this work. And then part two, so we have two parts for the hands-on, is that idea of Google Maps that I showed you. And here's a tutorial that actually gives you more information than I did about how to create these custom maps. Now the tutorial goes over the idea of doing a trip, but it's the same concepts of what we're talking about here, is just do a simple map um, showing a couple of locations and then share it with us. And it's, again, really easy to do. Did I click on the right one? Once you actually have, uh, did I? Maybe this is a different screen. Anyway, once you do that, then you share it. Pretty simple, create the link, okay? So that's your hands-on for this week. So then your current topics, this will be the one um, I'll spend just a little more time on here, is this idea. So for your current topics, you actually now need to go select the page that you're gonna use for the last part of the project okay so in this case I'm not gonna restrict you to your let me come back and talk to you for a second so I'm not gonna restrict you to the inspired site um, because I all those pages there may be a differing level of complexity and you're gonna wonder well what level of complexity you're looking for well I kind of know it when I see it but let me just give you an idea of one I'm gonna show you that I would choose because it's got enough elements and it's done well enough to where it really gives me a, a nice standard to look at okay so that's why I want you to think about this I want you to find pages not let me just say this if you're looking at like Amazon the pages on there they're fairly complex with a lot of graphics right so you could use those right I'm just saying that you want to think about that because the big so I don't want you to choose a page that's too simple but I don't want you to choose a page that's too complex and that would be too much for you to bite off so it's a hard balance so let me take you back and show you so for me 
I'd actually use something like developer.android.com, their index page. Um, this page, as it looks nice, it's well laid out. Um, so what I would do, in this case, first select a page. But before you actually tell us this is a page you're going to use, drop into, right, I, in this case I'm going to launch uh, developer tools, right? So what you want to start doing, because this is part of what you're going to do, is you'll end up going through here and looking at how they've created the page, both from here's my divs, right, and then here's the CSS. Now you don't have to totally understand the CSS and that's only but one aspect of the midterm, um, but understanding, you know, they use divs for, in this case, I can see they have, a, and you can look at it up here when I'm on here. So this is the header part of the content, right? And then within the header, they use a div for the, um, looks like wrap. We have, then we have columns. So you can see we have, right? So you go through and you look at this. And just by, it's kind of like I, I say this is that you don't have to totally understand it, but if a site's well done, it actually gives you three column, right? So we can kind of determine what that probably means. So we have a logo and there's probably three things in there and you can kind of see it, right? So there's, looks like, and you can see this now, right? So they have some nice little navigation in there. So that's what you start looking at. So I want you to start this process of doing that. And sometimes it's, you come over here and you can kind of, just by looking at these things, start to determine, you know, what you think they're doing what do you think that's doing right so it's like okay hmm margin top minus six looks like it moves that a little bit margin left oh I can see how that places it you know width hmm, doesn't do anything what do I think it does so I might look at it right so start learning how to read code even if you're not writing a lot of code yet start learning how to read it okay so that's what you want to do you want to uh, provide us a link and tell us what you've learned from looking through it in developer tools, right? So that's because I'm again, I'm trying to coming back, I'm trying to help you along this path of the midterm. Now, on the midterm, I'll actually end, end up having you save that page to your local computer, uh, looking at the graphics and the CSS associated with it just to tell me numbers, just to look at it, and then also have you actually do the like I showed you here, where you start looking at the HTML combined with the CSS to see how that file is created okay all right more information to come on that one but I think this week should give you um, what you need to get to the midterm we have the rest of this weekend so we're at the end of week seven coming into week eight so week nine we have no uh, current topics we have no hands-on it is only the midterm Okay, and then the week after that, uh, so the Friday, the Monday that the midterm is due is the 13th of October. That is a really interesting week for me because I'm actually uh, going to be on campus, but in a training for every day, eight hours a day. So I will be responsive to email, but I won't be uh, available, so to speak. And then that Saturday is DevFest. Whew, interesting time in our lives, isn't it? At least in mine it is right now. Okay, so I think this is enough for today. Uh, a little longer than I wanted, but uh, hopefully it gives you what you need. And again, please sign up for debt, or at least consider it, right? See if you can carve out enough time to actually, and, and, and try to come for the whole th thing, thing, whole darn thing. Try to come for the whole thing. It really, I think, will be beneficial for you, and uh, I, I believe it's going to be a good time. So, Take that for what it is. Peace out.